No, no. Why is the camera? There we go. There, now the camera was set up correctly, actually. Alright, so I've been playing Rainbow Six Seeds Extraction for a while. It's canon to Rainbow Six because it takes place after it. Because a uh, virus from outer space. Well, here's the, how the current canon is. For the Ubi well, one of the Ubisoft canons, we don't know about the others because they're getting remakes, quote unquote, and a bunch of other stuff is happening to make sure that they actually have a timeline. But the timeline is kind of a mess, and the only timelines that we have pure conclusions of are the Tom Clancy games and some of the goddamn Ubisoft games. Mm -hmm. And even still, then, it's a total fucking mess. So, I mean, at least the at least Division 2 is can, canon now because it's supposed to go Ghost Recon, then it's supposed to go into Rainbow, then it's supposed to go into, after that, Rainbow Six Siege, and then Division, and Division 2. How that shit works is I have no way fucking there. You gotta go ask someone else because I have no idea. And like I said before, they're remaking a lot of games and other stuff so they can actually have a confirmed timeline here. So I have that's how the current timeline is right now. We don't know how Far Cry 6 and Assassin's Creed and a bunch of the other games fit in. So until they get that fitting in, we don't have a current timeline. And South Park and a lot of other games that Ubisoft has made has also confirmed they haven't been in a timeline. It is... It disappeared. So, it's a, a mess with the whole timeline. So, we don't know what's going on. So, Rainbow Six Siege takes after Rainbow Six Siege. Yeah, but Rainbow Six Siege Extraction takes place after Rainbow Six Siege. Which is a game where you basically prepare your operators for terrorist missions. So, none of the operators fighting each other... Are being really enemies or any of that many of all of the operators you play as are quote-unquote just like um, fighting um, Training purposes and so they're fighting each other for training pur purposes in case there's a terrorist attack or something and For as far as we know we haven't been playing any terrorist missions So we have no idea who the terrorists even are all we know is we've been training and training and training for years now, and we've barely seen any terrorists, quote-unquote. I mean, there was a campaign at one point, but even then it was kind of trashing. So that's what's happening. And then in Rainbow Six or Siege or whatever, a virus from outer space. So this is where the aliens come in, apparently. I totally missed it because I didn't play the whole damn game. Or... The limited time version of Ben or whatever the fuck it was called. So, an, an alien virus from outer space on a meteor crash lands into a city or a town in New Mexico. And then a guy gets infected with this alien mutation. So this guy is basically already dead, but thanks to the alien mutation, the alien mutation or the alien virus or whatever... That came from the meteor that killed this guy. Basically, that virus took over his corpse. And now he's basically a walking zombie corpse thing. And these aliens are using his their corpses to turn them into these things called... Half I can three out already. The main villains of Rainbow Six Siege Extraction. Archeans. They're turning this virus is turning dead people's corpses into Archeans, which are basically, you know, fucking aliens or whatever. It's insane. It's insanity. You keep it up at this point. So basically, this virus from outer space came down, basically infected some people, turned them into alien zombies. And now they're called Archeans and they're attacking other people or doing whatever at this point. And we have no idea. So the cannon, that's the cannon. It's an alien virus from a meteor that t t t took over human beings' corpses 
and basically are zombies, quote unquote, alien viruses or whatever. If you paid attention to any of that, you're still like, that doesn't make any effing sense. And according to Rainbow X Seed or something, the zombie part I totally get. But the alien part is just like, what? Why? Why? There was no reason for it to be aliens. Like, you, you wanted it to be aliens? Because the end of the timeline shows it was a random virus that took over America and the rest of the countries. And World War Three happened, apparently. So they are like, alright, since um, Division 2 is just going to be in the, the end of the timeline, we just don't want to have zombies at the end of the timeline that took over or killed the entire human race with World War Three. when we want to have aliens too since this will make the most sense. And they, well, I guess, like, that makes no sense. Why why have aliens? Like, you, you were good with the zombie part, but aliens? Really? Really? Uh, that makes no entire sense to me whatsoever. Is Rainbow Six Siege worth buying? The answer is hell no. Hell to the no. First of all, this is a cast grab game. I don't know if it's still in beta. I don't know if it needs updates or anything. But basically, this is only a game for cast grab for right now. They basically just want money. And this was something that they can make quickly, fastly, and get out into the year. Because they don't have a lot of games coming out this year, I guess. Or a lot of quotas to be met this year. Or whatever. So they put this game out. And they're like, here... Here's Rainbow Six Siege Extraction. Is it any good? The answer is no. No, it's not. You ha you're basically playing by yourself the most part of the game and trying to solo and survive that. But basically, this game is so fucking ball busting your balls half the time. It's literally busting your balls. I'm not kidding here. If you're on friendly, you're basically screwed by the enemies. It does not matter what enemies they are. If you have two teammates on your team, which is basically Rainbow Six Seed Extraction, and the whole thing is six in the name, and there's only three guys in the entire game that you can play with. And I'm just like, why? why? Why have me and two other players if it's called six? It should be called be Rainbow Three Extraction. If, if that's the damn case, but no, no, you had to make it six. Yeah, apparently these guys got lazy or something because you can only play as you and two other players. So I don't know if they got lazy or what happened, but even in, l l look at this. Hold on. Let me move my damn camera. Let me go down here. No, not the art. Turn it. This. This is right here. You got six whole characters. Six whole characters, and let, yet you can only have like three people, two other people on your damn team. And it, it, it's clearly, in it, even one of the guys in the game says, oh, we, we need more guys or we need more players or something because three isn't enough. Of course, three isn't enough. You have to do nine missions with three other, with two players, and they basically, basically may, might as well be your best friend or something. But even then, it's too brawl breakingly hard. It's way too damn hard, and it's not me just saying that. It's really damn hard. Like at least Rainbow Siege, Rainbow Six Siege was like if you get killed. It's because you weren't good enough or you just suck at the game. And I was alright with that because I know most of the time I sucked at the game. I was bad. I still play and I'm god awful at it. If you have me on your team, my name is 3DXXL, you might as well just kill me because I'm literally not going to carry your team until the end. I'm going to hide in the corner like a bee and just stand there and watch everyone die. I might get two, maybe even one kill. But that's all I can do is just do that or just set up traps. That's all I do. And at least then I didn't lose any operators or anything. I'm saying, I'm not saying losing operators here is bad or anything. Hell, I love it. 
But half the time when you try to get your operator back with your two other teammates, the game's just like, screw you, who's another operator? So now you got like three, four operators down already, and you're trying to get this operator back, you might as well just go solo trying to get your operators back. Because if you do it as a team, you're going to get screwed. Either way. And it's like, why play as a team? And if I can just like go in there, touch my operator, barely not even get the AXP or anything out of it, and get the heck out. Why even play with a goddamn team then? It wants you to play solo, and when you play solo still, it's still ball-breakingly hard. I don't understand why it has to be ball-breakingly hard, because most of the time, it's not even your fault, because there's only, like, there's, you can take down any enemy with a gun, except this one enemy in the game, that only three, you need three exclusive characters for you to kill this enemy. If you don't, he's basically gonna take three, probably four or five clips to take him. He's going to take all of your ammo, and if he respawns or there's another one, you're basically screwed. And it's this long finger guy who, I don't know. Listen, this guy can teleport. This guy can summon more enemies. This guy can hit you with projectiles. And if this guy hits you straight on, you're basically dead. He takes away almost half, if not all, of your health. And there's no way to kill him other than trying to sneak up on him or landing bullet hits. And trust me, that takes a long time because he's summoning enemies left and right. So while you're killing this guy and he's moving around in, in ish. There's like a whole bunch of enemies that he's summoning to kill you. And remember, if these enemies ever get up, catch up to you, you're basically dead. Because it only takes two or three hits before they kill you. What the heck? At least in Rainbow Six Siege, it was like, maybe, maybe if this guy's better than you, or been playing the game for a very long time, or has a better character than you, it felt fair. But these guys just don't feel fair. You can be at max level... And these guys will still take you down in two or three hits. What sense does that even make, Ubisoft? Or whoever made this damn game? Because obviously, they weren't checking on hitboxes when you were playing these guys. And you can't play with six players. You, you can't. There's not a six-player mission. There's not a six-player anything. In this game. I don't know if they're working on that. Or that's going to be in the goddamn next update. Hopefully it's in the next update. Is this game worth buying? Or is this game worth playing? Hell to the no. You get to level 18. You basically unlocked everything. You only need to get to level 16. Or level 17. Or level 18. You're basically unlocked everything. All of the maps are unlocked. All of the special stuff is unlocked. Everything is unlocked. You basically won at that point. So you can just go back and play Rainbow Six Siege or whatever. A better Ubisoft game, I swear to God, because this one sucks. It sucks. It's it's so bad. Like, most of the time, it's not even going to be your fault why you die. I had like four, probably five guys on me, and they just kept coming on me when I was already down, which makes no sense. And I was trapped in the corner, so I just had, like, zombies on top of zombies hitting me while I'm already down in the corner repeatedly. And then once I was totally killed or couldn't get up anymore, they came after the next guy, and he died. And then they came after... It was it was hilarious. If you would have seen it, that would have been goddamn hilarious. But I'm... <laughs> maybe for you, it would have been goddamn hilarious. But for us, it was just like, dear God... It was like four or five enemies on the screen beating all of us up. And there's no way, and then you're wasting all your bullets. And once you kill one enemy, then two take its place. You kill those two. Three take its place. You kill those three. Five take it. You see the point? And it's like, bro, what's the point of even killing all these enemies if another one's just going to take its place? And if you don't take that enemy down quick enough, then an egg pops up. Bam, 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 these eggs. 
basically sport out enemies in seconds and you don't have enough time to shoot the eggs and shoot the enemies but by the time you realize where the egg is you're already dead and by the time you realize where the enemy is you're basically screwed so you're screwed on both sides you don't know where this egg is you're basically being surrounded by enemies your teammates are halfway down their health or either dead <laughs> And you're just like, damn, what the hell do I do? And you leave. People just straight up left. Like, I was left, like, at least twice or more times than I can count because there was too many enemies and it was eggs that we had no idea where these enemies were even spawning from. And then to make it worse, they have this special mission where these green eggs, literally, I'm not even kidding here, spawn enemies out as soon as you kill one of them. And to make it worse is, these enemies spawn out in seconds. These eggs don't have a timer or anything. It's just like, oh, you killed that enemy? Bam, another one. You killed that enemy? Bam, another one. And like I said before, these enemies come at you. If you take one down, two come at you. What sense does that make, man? And these eggs are spawning enemies in by twos. By twos, every single second, you take one down. And the end, and listen, dude, this was hilarious, but the enemies on the bottom floor, when we were trying to get rid of these green eggs, I mean, actually trying, these enemies didn't even got that move because they already knew we were screwed. Like, the AI or whatever literally just stood there, downstairs or wherever they were, didn't even move. Their eggs didn't even, didn't even respawn stuff because as soon as those green eggs realized we were there, they started killing us one by one. I'm not even kidding here. I was dead because there were like four or five enemies on me. And the, and the heck the thing is, I don't even know how they knew where I was. I wasn't shooting bullets or nothing. They just knew where I was. That's another thing. These enemies automatically know where you are, but you can't tell where their eggs are or where they're coming from. That's the messed up part I don't understand. And then the AI... Oh boy, the AI is sometimes stupid, it's sometimes jerky, it's just like all around bad. Dear God, man, this game is a whole entire mess. Don't buy it. If you even have Ubisoft Plus or whatever, and you have it for free or something like that, don't just play it till you get to level 18, and that's it. And then play it from the quest, and that's it. And just go back to playing Rainbow Six Siege. Because this game is way too damn hard. It's not fair. I can tell you that much. And your bullets basically do nothing. So you got these zombie alien things walking around. Basically smacking the heck out of you. While your team is trying to survive. And the worst part of it is. I don't even know how they're going to get the rest of the characters in. Because you only have 18 guys that can do some stuff. And none of this stuff is really helpful. And like these nine missions like one of them is a hammer guy remember that guy at rainbow six siege or whatever he's here I don't know why he's here but he's here guys he's here and he basically and he basically useless and I got him to level 10 I'm not even kidding there's a guy with a giant hammer walking around basically he's useless he's super useless if you if you straight up punch through a wall and an enemy's there, you're screwed. I don't even know why he was like one of the 18 operators they chose out of. Oh, well, who do we put in? Well, let's put in a guy that makes a lot of noise when he's busting down bustable walls. <laughs> Trust me, this guy is loud. So when you play as him and there's an enemy there, you're screwed. You're it's screwed. Your whole team is screwed. Um, um, basically, completing missions are hard. Doing anything in this game is way too damn hard. You, you basically die. It's a it's a bad game. Bad game. Don't buy this. Don't buy it. And especially, like, it's worth $40, $40, I think, or something like that. In the U.S., it's worth $30. I don't know where, how much it costs when you're looking at it in the future or whatever. $40 right now. There's some DLC packs for it. 
The DLC packs are not worth it either. It's just basically overall garbage. Straight up garbage. Straight up beauty. And there's like a lot of some Ubisoft needs to fix. There's like multiplayer. I don't know why they made the multiplayer harder than it needs to be. You only got two people. You don't have six. So I don't even know why they made it harder. It makes no sense. You got VR training. And. Yeah, you can't play online with VR training. I never got the point of what what's the point of having a tutorial. You know we're going to skip it. You know we're not even going to look at it. Because, like, you've been releasing stuff, Ubisoft, for, like, the past month or so while this game was progressively coming out. And you've been telling us, giving tricks and tips and all that stuff. And you're going to give us a fucking tutorial. Why? Oh, just in case people didn't look at that stuff. And who cares? It's basically the same game. It's literally the same game, but you're being beaten up by zombies. Like, why the heck would we need a VR training? Why? I guess for that extra experience that people are so crazy about. Yeah. And they have random modes or quick matches or whatever it's called. Um, Rainbow Six Siege has a VR training mode. I guess you can do six players on that. I have no idea if my controller is about to die. I'm about to shut this down. Let me shut this down. They haven't come up with a random mode where you can do quick matches, but it's going to be random. So if someone hasn't completed the VR training, y'all can go in there, knock it out, be done with it. And if someone else has it, about time everyone be done with it or something. So the VR training will show up on a random match or something like that. That would be awesome for Six Siege or Extraction. That would be totally cool actually having a random mode instead of it being whatever also there's another issue where there's auto shooting auto shooting doesn't exist on six siege or it doesn't exist on rainbow extraction yet so i don't know if they're gonna put it on the stadia version the U uh the luna version or any other version for that matter i don't know but pc players have um auto shooting and um rainbow six siege so that kind of sucks if you're just playing on stadia or something like that uh, that totally sucks um overall i gotta say this whole entire thing that ubisoft is saying oh we're updating this to re updating that and it's like the player experience to me kind of sucks all around uh, tell me what you guys think of it. Uh, did you like this video? Like it. If you, if you hated it, whatever. I don't really care at this point. I'm just uploading videos because I'm... Stuff. Pisses... Bloody pisses me off, too. It's like... You have a good... It's an excellent concept. It's not bad at all. But the gameplay and the rest of it just sucks. Like, you can't... You can't be doing that in yourself. You can't just have something so good... And then it's just like, oh, middle finger you trying to play a game. Um, yeah, but tell me what you think in the comments below. I don't I don't think you should buy this, honestly. I don't think you should buy um, Six Siege either until they fully fix that game. Because right now that game's kind of a mess too. I, I mean, like, they got some stuff to fix. Like I said... They can do some random stuff, including the training matches that you can play with your friends. Just have a random mode for that because the quick matches aren't really random. And I want them to be on Six Siege and on Extraction because if those two can have random matches, that would be really awesome because if we can go for that extra experience for VR training or whatever. That way it's just a regular mode or something. That would be awesome. And auto shooting to be on all platforms would also be cool. Just not on PC. Because playing with PC players and having auto shooting kind of sucks. Um, do you think Rainbow Six Siege Extraction or um, Rainbow Six 
is going to come out on mobile. I mean, Call of Duty did it, so I, I don't know why Ubisoft hasn't done it yet with any of their games. But who knows? I'll make sure like, comment, subscribe, and do whatever. Hump this video. Stick whatever in it. I don't care. I'm going to take a dump because uh, that's what this game has done to me. Bye.